Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Leo Privacy Guard for your Android devices. Now this application is also available for your iPhone, but we're going to be taking a look at the Android phone here. So when I first launched the application, it'll ask me to enter in my pattern to unlock. This is something that I first set up when I first launched the application, and you'll want to make sure and do that because this is going to help you make sure everything is secure and private on your device. Once you're unlocked, you're brought into the actual lock tab here on the screen. Now I have different modes that are going to allow me to lock applications based upon the mode that I'm in. So right now I'm on home mode and I have zero apps already locked. But if I tap on here, let's go ahead and swipe over to guest mode and notice I have 36 applications locked. What that means is if I try and enter in one of those applications in this mode, I'm not going to be able to unless I know the passcode. So for example, let's go ahead and go to my home screen. I have the phone as one of those locked items on guest mode. Now if I tap on phone, notice I have to enter in my privacy passcode before I can actually enter into the phone. And I only have three attempts. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe on my pattern. And once my pattern's input, I'll be able to launch and get into the phone and access everything from there. So now let's come back into Leo Privacy Guard. I'm gonna go ahead and come here into the screen. We'll input our passcode and then it brings us back into the lock tab. So the way that I set this up is I came into my guest mode, I tapped here on the apps and I swiped through all the applications on my device. I just tapped on one and it added a lock to those apps to let me know that those apps will no longer be allowed to be used in the guest mode. So once that's been done, I can also tap on the application again and it removes the lock, letting that application be accessed in the guest mode again. So if I come back out into the lock screen and if I tap on the guest mode, notice I have guest mode and home. I can also tap the plus button, add in a new mode and go ahead and select from different apps. These ones that have the stars are my most used apps on my device. So let's learn that and it's going to know what I want to use more frequently. And if I didn't want to just tap on those and it's going to go and lock them down. So we'll go ahead and come back out of this mode and there's one additional feature of security that I think is really cool called the app cover. Tap on app cover and we're going to choose from one of the four additional app covers. So we have beauty, unknown color, error, and fingerprint. These are going to be different things that I can do on the screen to input my passcode and then have this app cover. So I'm going to swipe over on that code, we'll enable the app cover, and now error cover is enabled the fingerprint one. I'm going to tap three times with one within one second to unlock. I'm going to enable this app cover. So notice that whatever app cover is enabled has a blue check mark next to it. I can only have one cover enabled at a time. So now if I come in, my phone's already in guest mode. Now I'm going to come into another application. Let's just say Chrome is one, for example. So now I have to enter in my cover. Now it's unlocked and now I have to draw my pattern to be able to access the application. It's just an additional layer of security on my device. So let's come back into Privacy Guard. We'll input our passcode. And now I'm brought back into the lock screen. I can choose app lock down here, which I can go and just lock apps in the mode that I'm currently selected in. I can choose modes to quickly select modes and add modes to my home screen. I also have time lock. I can set up different times to automatically lock my device and put it into a certain mode. And then position lock. Based upon the Wi-Fi network that I'm connected to, it'll actually lock down my device. Now there's the protection tab, which lets me know if I'm protected in the mode that I'm currently in. So tap on alert and it's going to go ahead and scan your device and make sure that you have the maximum protection available. So notice it says I need to lock down some more apps, hide some images, hide some videos, and even view my private contacts and go ahead and add contacts to the private right there. So the way that I do that is from this screen, tap hide image, private SMS, hide video, or private calls, and I'll be able to select from those different things on my device and add them in here to make sure they're secure and locked down, and no one else will be able to see them unless they have the passcode into my Leo privacy guard. And then in the My Apps section, I have apps that are installed. I can go ahead and uninstall applications that I've downloaded from the Google Play Store. I can get app details, I can boost my memory. What's also really great is I can back up apps. So I can take the content from inside of applications and back them up, delete them, and I can even come back in here and restore from a spurt and backup of a specific application. So for example, if I were to back up Facebook, we'll back that up. It's gonna go ahead and back up Facebook, and then if I were to delete Facebook, 
my backup will be here in Leo Privacy Guard. And then if I reinstalled Facebook, I would be able to restore right to the backup that I just created. So that's really cool on a per app basis for backups. I can see data usage, so I can see data usage for my data plan, and I can even create shortcuts to go ahead and swipe different gestures on my screen to go ahead and launch different applications. Up in the top right hand corner, we have our settings where I can reset my password, change it, add security questions, password prompts, and even view the settings. And then right here is our little notifications. We have a message center, so whenever something new comes out on Leo Privacy Guard, I'll be able to jump in that message center and see what's going on. So this is a really cool application to lock down your device and make sure everything is safe and secure right here on your Android device. So if you like this, pick it up in the Google Play Store. If you want to grab it for your iPhone, pick it up in the App Store.